Hello, we are the team Fauchkeeper, or in English, Rest in Fame. Welcome to our making of. Our movie is a story of the Grim Reaper. He is trying to do his job to harvest the soul of a man named Sean. But he is constantly interrupted by a mysterious flying pentagram. It's a whimsical dark comedy about the human ego and how everyone, even death, needs to lighten up. Marie and I sketch multiple ideas for the Grim Reaper and the boy, Willie. To define our direction, we started from characteristic shapes, such as a circle for Willy and a skinny triangle for Beth. Next, I developed these shapes to fit the style of the movie. Even though Death is a skeleton, we wanted him to be dignified and elegant, not scary. So I replaced his articulated jaw with an organic mouth to be more expressive. And I gave him a British butler's sophistication, clothing and posture. For the ex-movie star, Sean, my first version was a very kitsch character, an old singer based on Liberace. You could see he had several facelifts and the style of his clothing and bedroom were over the top. This design risked being unappealing, so I made him rounder and more masculine with imperfections that make him more attractive. I used a young Gérard Depardieu for inspiration. Felting death in ZBrush was fun but challenging. For example, I had to smooth his cheekbones in order to avoid sharp shadows in the transition from 2D to 3D. Like Death, our concept for Sean worked in 2D, but to sculpt it in 3D, we had to make him more anatomically correct. For example, we had to lengthen his legs and we had to reduce the size of, well, his package to make the cartoon suitable for all ages. Finally, Sean had to embody a decadent, rich and famous lifestyle, but still be engaging and fun to watch. The pentagram is also considered a character. It is the creation of the boy wizard, Willy. Like him, it is both mysterious and annoying. The pentagram plays the role of a portal between Willy's attic and Sean's room, and I based its design on infinity mirrors. On After Effects, I tested out the look dev procedurally to ease the transition to Maya. I also did some animation tests to validate the functionality before the rigging. Using Elena's auto-rig tool, I rigged the Grim Reaper. I wanted him to be expressive yet restrained, so I pushed the facial rig and focused on the skinning of the joints in Maya. This gave the animators the opportunity to create subtle facial twitches. For the design of the two sets, I created mood boards and 2D layouts. Sean's house was inspired by glitzy Las Vegas villas, so I created assets using a reddish gold color to show a luxurious bad taste. In contrast, Willie's bedroom is a mysterious dark bluish attic. For the props, I did research for both the attic and Sean's villa and many drawings. I cluttered the Sean's room with merchandising products like standees and movie posters. For the pocket watch, I wanted a design that would reinforce the Grim Reaper's Victorian look. The main challenge was making the watch predict what would happen to Sean. I thought of doing a crash zoom inside the watch with pop-up scaffolding. But finally, I chose a logical, mechanical approach that reflected the Grim Reaper's personality. I modeled and textured the attic and some of Sean's assets, like the dolphin bed, based on the wacky concept of my team members. I chose to give Death cold metal props to contrast with the golden accessories in Sean's room. To optimize my work, I used Substance, managing assets in procedural while creating variations. I did most of the animatics. I had to show the personality of each character through their acting. We created a solid base for the layout and then the animation. The initial layout worked well, giving us a roadmap of how to use timing to make the interaction comical between Death and the Pentacle. 
This created a rhythmic motif in the film where the pentacle is always annoyingly one step ahead of the Grim Reaper. During animation, the main challenge was to be as close as possible to the layout in terms of timing and intention. At the end, for example, the Grim Reaper finds Willy's admiration touching, and we see death literally in a new light. In terms of the movement, we also wanted to avoid a style that was too snappy. That would have made the sequencing of shots too hyper and would have killed the movie's charm. We also had to balance the contrast between the characters. Death is calm and professional, while Sean is cheesy and egotistical. The pentagram is like a pesky insect, while the wizard is a cute little fanboy. For the texturing of Sean and Willy, I used Mary to make the skin shading realistic without being uncanny. Using Substance, I finalized each character's accessories, such as Willy's coat and Sean's underpants. The lighting played an important role in the story, as we can see on Florian's lightboard. I did the lighting set for Willy's attic. And I did the lighting set for Sean's room. I also created a specific lighting set for the deaf character, to show it's called pragmatism and otherworldliness. Being the VFX compositor of the team, I did most of the compositing in the film. My job was to accentuate the mood we wanted for each shot and to add the last details to embellish the movie. I first did some pre-comp in order to determine the AOVs needed in each shot to avoid rendering unnecessary passes and to minimize our rendering time. We hope you enjoyed our film and that now everybody takes life and death a little less seriously.